Today I'm going to take this Raylite Pineapple Mini and swap in a Osram NM1 green emitter to get some extra throw. So this is from Convoy Flashlight. Going to need a couple of tools, so we need some uh, tweezers to pull out the pill. Going to use some Q-tips and a bit of isopropyl to clean up the back of the MC PCB. get rid of the thermal paste. To reapply some thermal paste, this Noctua NTH1, and we'll use some uh, solder paste and a hot plate to reflow the LED. Also going to use a soldering iron to remove the wires. Cool, so let's get started. Simply take the head off. You'll see in here that there's two little dots. You can line up the tweezers with those and simply unscrew the pill. So you need to turn the head or turn the, the tweezers. This will come out. I'll hold it this way so I don't drop out the, the lens. There's an O-ring and a lens at the top of this. I don't really want that to come out. This is actually a spare pill that I've got with a 219B emitter in it. Cool, so that's the reflector. So I'll put this to the side. We need to take out the centering gasket. Got the 219B emitter there, and we've got the positive negative uh, pins or wires coming through the MC PCB. I'll need to desolder those. So I'm going to crank up the soldering iron to about 370 degrees, probably more than hot enough, so degrees Celsius. Flush cutters to cut the wick. I'll we'll need the wick as well. Sometimes you can remove this with tweezers and a soldering iron without a wick because a wick can make things difficult if it gets stuck. I'll give it a go anyway. So if that doesn't budge, one nice trick is to add a little bit of solder and lift some blocks inside. Okay, so we've got rid of the, the solder, try and lift this up, so there's a bit of a gap in the edge there, yep, there we go. Uh, it's worth paying attention where the positive and negative go, that's still stuck, I don't want to rip it out, so... Let's see how we go. Oop, cool, that came out. Awesome. So let's wash this. Oh, that's enough. Could possibly wash that too. Just using isopropyl. the MC PCB on the hot plate. Got it set to 210. So it's at 200 degrees Celsius at the moment. You can see it's gone a bit silvery, so that is going to pop off. Cool. That's off to an unb. I'll just chuck it over here. 
Oops, it's stuck. Cool. I'll let this cool down too. Just give it a quick clean. So I add a little bit of solder paste. Normally you'd use a tip for this. So that's heaps. So we'll try and line up the pads of the Osram with this. It's probably a little bit small. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Good chance I'll short this so I need to line it up perfectly in the center. Hopefully it snaps in place, otherwise it might not work and I could fry it. So let's see how it goes. Cool, so that is centered. Now that it's centered, you can use a digital multimeter set to diode test mode. Give it a second to cool. So it's back to front. Awesome. So I'll need to put the MC PCB in back to front. Cool. We've got power. Okay, let's pop this in, we'll add a bit of thermal paste back in, I don't want too much thermal paste. Just a little bit. I'll put this in backwards and try to thread. Try to thread the wires through. So there's one wire, there's the other. Cool, so we'll push that in. I'll add a bit of solar. So this is not going to fit, uh, Joe. Let's see. Well, maybe it will. Maybe interesting beam. It's an orange peel reflect orange peel reflector rather than a smooth one, so it might not. Yeah, it's not not designed for a, a throwy emitter. Try and balance that on top, screw it in. Just 
just want to make sure I don't crush the emitter. It's not too tight, it's just tight enough. Okay, moment of truth. Let's chuck a battery in and see if it actually works. Success! We have green. So it's turbo. Let's see if we bow up the emitter. So if it's not reflowed properly and it's not dissipating the heat, you might notice black dots. So so far so good. Awesome. So yeah, thanks for sticking around. I'll go and do some measurements and see how far this little thing can throw. So it's about 123 at 30 seconds at going down. 123 lux, so works out to be about 5,000 candela at turn on. It drops down about 3,000 candela around 30 seconds, so it's roughly 100 meters throw. percent okay so this is the Raylite pineapple mini with a green Osram NM1 emitter managed to get it reflowed hasn't broken so far gets about 110 to 140 meters of throw which is about 3,000 to 5,000 candela so those measurements are at uh, turn on in 30 seconds it does drop quite a bit but then you can reactivate it so it might be thermally throttling a little bit there as it heats up cool